So what are you doing this summer? I got an internship lined up with uh, Morgan Stanley, so I'm going to be making some good money. Oh, when does that start? Uh, late May. I really need to look for a job. Yeah, you don't have anything lined up yet? Not yet. I should have an internship. Yeah, well, conveniently, I just happen to have the classifieds right here. Will you help me make my resume tonight? Yeah, no problem. All right, how about this one? The Hibbert Group, an internship for marketing? Yeah, that's... That that's... sounds great. Let's set call for an interview. Sounds good. Hi, I'm Kelly Breslin. Alex, thank you. Thank you for meeting with me today. Oh uh, yeah, thanks for coming in. Uh, thanks for applying for the internship for this summer. I received your application and your resume in the mail earlier this week. I just spent some time looking over your resume. You have a lot of marketing experience and a lot of skills that I like. Um, but there's a couple questions that I wanted to bring you in here and ask you. That we ask all of our interviewees before we hire them. So um, firstly, why do you want to have an internship with the Hibbert Group this summer? I would really like to build my resume and that's a great start. And I really like to have more marketing experience before um, the, at my end of school. Yeah, you'll definitely get marketing experience if you, uh, if you have an internship here this summer. Um, what are two things, two positive things that you think you'll bring to the Haber Group? Um, my team building skills, I have a lot of executive positions and I also try to uphold a positive image inside and outside of the workplace. I like to rep represent myself, my school and my job and I'm always aware of my actions. Yeah, that's good. Uh, all of our employees here at the Hibbert Group, they, they all know that even when they're not in the office, they're still representing the Hibbert Group, so we like to make sure that they're always aware of that at all times. Uh, those are two really good answers. I think those went really well. And, uh, hold on a second. I just received an email from my assistant. Oh. Unfortunately, my assistant, uh, we require we do background checks on the internet of all of our applicants. Okay. And my assistant came across some um, pretty questionable and pretty inappropriate images on your social web application page of Facebook mm -hmm. of you. Do you know anything about those? No, can I see them? Uh, yeah, you should take a look. Oh my god, I didn't even know these were on there. I don't even remember them being taken. Yeah. I'm not even tagged in them. I uh, know, that's unfortunate. I mean, everything went really well. You have a great resume and those are great answers, but I can't, we can't hire people who are going to do things like that outside of the office, so. I'm really sorry. I know, I mean, me too. I really, I was really, it was a good interview, but I mean, things like that just can't be, our employees can't be doing things like that, so, I mean, I'm I sorry. I didn't even know you could find pictures of me like that. I know, well, he came across them, so I really don't know what to say other than, you know, you have great experience, but I can't hire people who do that, so good luck finding another job. Okay, thank you. What are you so upset about? How'd the interview go? Horrible. I would have got the job completely if he didn't find my Facebook pictures. <sighs> And it wasn't even pictures that I was tagged in. Everybody knows you can find those pictures on Google just by typing your name in. They were so inappropriate. I don't know what I'm going to do with the rest of my jobs. Why do you think I delete my Facebook? Maybe I should delete mine too. It's probably a good idea. I'm going to be all right. I hope you can see that there are a lot of dangers that come with your fun social networking. And this happens with not just Facebook, but all social networking tools such as MySpace, YouTube, and all other sources. Can I just one example of someone who's been affected by not understanding the risks that come along with social networking? Millions of people have been affected by this, not only in their work life, but their school and sports life as well. We want you to know how to act safe through your social networking. When used correctly, it can be an amazing tool for your social life and possibly even more. So be careful with things that you post about yourself and others and what others post about you on your social networking site. So please be careful. And be safe.